Okay, hello, good afternoon. Uh, now it's time to begin the webinar. Uh, first of all, thank you so much for joining to our webinar about countermeasures for travel on belt conveyor operation. My name is Kazuhito Maeda. I'm responsible for overseas department and global marketing department at Matsushima Measure Today, I will be hosting this webinar and our industrial marketing specialist, Mr. Mamoru Omura, will present the main two sessions. And then I will explain, uh, present some our latest technology. Then we will have a uh, Q&A session later. Okay, before starting the webinar, uh, I'd like to tell you some precautions. Your microphone is muted during the webinar. So please use the Q&A column on the right side of the screen if you have any questions. Uh, questions are welcome at any time. So you can send your uh, question by text on the Q&A column at any time. Uh, we will have the Q&A session at the end to reply to your questions. Then, but if we do not have enough time to reply to your question, then we will send an answer later by separate email. Uh, okay, uh, before starting the main session, please uh, let me introduce briefly about our company, Matsumi Majette. Our company was founded in 1946, and we have these five ranges of product. One is level sensing technology, we have leather level transmitters, various level switches. We have a solution for customized level measuring system for harsh applications. Then also we have dust sensing technology. We have various dust monitoring sensors for industrial dust collectors like bubble filter or electrostatic precipitators, uh, just piping, stack emission monitoring. Uh, dust monitoring for uh, open workplaces, clean room, blah, 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 something like this. Then today, uh, we will be focusing on the safety sensing technologies. Uh, we have some safety switches. We have various types of safety switches for belt conveyor. And also we have belt conveyor, conveyor belt aligning, alignment control systems. Uh, anyway, uh, Rasan will uh, explain detail about these uh, solutions with uh, fundamental cause of those troubles. We also have robot system like a human collaborative robot, and we also have automation engineering activities. Okay, this is the topics uh, of today. Uh, first one is countermeasures for trouble on belt conveyor operations, like typical troubles, accidents, and those general countermeasures. Uh, second session is about introduction of safety and protection devices. And third session uh, is uh, we will introduce our latest technologies like belt tear detector, and we also have unique conveyor power generators. Then we will go to the uh, Q&A session. So, okay, so Omra-san, I'm gonna switch the screen to you. So please proceed uh, for a moment. So please proceed your sessions. Thank you, Mr. Maeda. I'm a Mamoru Omura working for the export team in Matsushima Major Tech. In the first section, I will introduce the countermeasures for the trouble on the belt conveyance operation. Typical trouble and general countermeasures. In the first section, we will go through the six typical accidents. What ways do we have to expect for the conveyor accident? Material drop, fire accident, Belt tear accident, belt cut break, rocking shoot, being caught in machine. Uh, let's go through that one by one. The first mater uh, materials are falling from the conveyor because of the misalignment. The conveyors are designed and manufactured to run straight forward. 
but the misalignment happened and it without the material drop. What causes the conveyor misalignment? The first one is the pulley or the roller has the built up the material. The second one is the roller do not rotate properly. And the transport, transporting the material is changing. Scar driver is damaged or the loaded material is beaten inside. Also the conveyor belt is damaged. Last one is the environmental situation is changing. They make the conveyor misalignment causing the material drops. It results in material loss and higher maintenance loss. How can we prevent the material drops? There are examples of the countermeasures. First one is the, uh, re uh, remove the built up material by the belt cleaner. Second one is uh, detect the misalignment and stop by the belt sway switch. And also the uh, uh, belt misalignment adjusted by the self-aligned mechanical carrier and also the motor operated adjusted carrier. They are effective to the prevent the misalignment and material drop. The second trouble case is a fire accident. It can be happening for the conveyor operation because the uh, conveyor belt is flammable. In some cases, the material are also the flammable. We will see that what causes the fire accident in the uh, conveyor operation. There are five expected causes for the fire accident. The first one is the belt slip between the conveyor belt and dry pulley. The next cause is the heat due to the malfunction of the rotating parts. And friction heat between the misaligned belt and uh, frame. Also the heat generated from the accumulated dust at the roller stand. The last one is the ignition from the side walk, at, uh, side walk using the fire. If the firework happens, the operator life is in danger and also whole belt may need to be replaced by the new belt. These are the counter for the fire accident. Uh, mainly that there are the two countermeasures. Detecting the slip, uh, belt slip by the belt, uh, speed sensor and the um, conveyor misalignment is detected by the belt sway switch or adjusted by the motor operated adjusted carrier. There are two types, but only the speed sensor can detect the belt sway. So belt switch is a speed switch is an essential item for the conveyor operation. The next one is the belt tear accident. It is a wrong rip accident caused by the wrong material stuck through the belt. Why belt tear happen? Uh, wrong material like a sharp metal stick through the conveyor belt. It sticks through the belt and this belt is uh, continue to move but stuck impact roller just below the trans uh, transferring the shoot and belt tear accident happened. In the worst case, the whole conveyor must be replaced even uh, 100, 100, of the, uh, 100 of the meter or the one kilometer long conveyor. There are mainly two uh, two types of the countermeasure. Detecting the metal material uh, and removed from the magnetic separator, or the detect the stick material, holding material by the belt tear detector and immediately stop the conveyor. 
The next trouble is the belt cut brake accident. If the same belt continues to be used, it has a higher chance to cause this accident. What causes a belt cut brake accident? First one is a frequent uh, belt slip between the conveyor belt and drive pulley. Second one is the rubber of the belt surface is warm and the inner fabric is exposed. Third one is the crack or the scratch on the inner fabric of the And the uh, fourth one is the belt tear damage or the scratch. And also the final one is there are many repair portions. If belt cut brake accident happen, it makes a big cost including the maintenance and the product production loss. These are the prevention for the cut brake accident. Speed detection by the speed sensor and detect the misalignment and stop the conveyor by the belt thread switch. Belt tear detector to detect the sharp uh, falling material and also the criterion or the rule of the belt replacement uh, on a regular basis. Next is the blocking chute. In the worst cases, the transferring chute gets overflow and damage the facility. What causes the blocking chute? Uh, the next conveyor does not move by the belt slipping, or the loaded material are stuck inside the chute and do not transfer the next conveyor. In either cases, broken chute happen, which causes a high maintenance cost and also the environmental pollution. How do we stop this accident? One is uh, monitoring the second conveyor by the speed sensor. Another one is to detect the blocking situation by upper limit switches. I will introduce the these switch in the next section. The last accident in, is a caught in machine. It's a very, very serious accident to be human life in danger. There are some causes for, for this accident. It's mostly caused by the human error. For example, the mistakenly starting the conveyor, or uh, there is no protection for the conveyor, including a safety cover or the no interlock. This accident causing the human injury, we have to take the possible countermeasure against this accident. There are some protection tools for the uh, work. In those two, the emergency stop switch is the most essential safety switch because it can be stopped the conveyor immediately when any accident happens. It minimizes the accident casualty. Okay. I've been running through the six type of the accident and there are all effective countermeasures for the count, uh, conveyor accident. Next, I will introduce the safety protection devices uh, with uh, some technical advices. The first device First device is a belt cleaner to remove the build up the material. Normally, the return side, return side does not carry the material. However, when the uh, material sticks to the belt and they remain the, even in the return side, the belt misalignment frequently happens, which causes the material drop and fire accident. Belt cleaner prevents these accidents by removing the built up material. The first technical point for the belt cleaner is the uh, cleaning chip wheels. 
some cleaner has a wider uh, belt chip, uh, cleaner chip. It's like almost 100 mm through the 150 mm. It cannot be work at the repair part. On the other hand, narrower chip, for example, 15 mm, these cleaner chip can be scratched even at the uh, repair part. So we strongly recommend it to the narrower chip belt cleaner. The second technical uh, advice is the cleaner chip direction. When the cleaner chip is installed against the uh, conveyor operating direction, it damages the belt or it may be stuck in the repair part. Therefore, uh, the belt cleaner should be installed at the same direction, same direction of the conveyor operation to protect the uh, uh, conveyor belt itself. The second one is the belt sway switch. It is a belt misalignment detector. Belt misalignment causes a uh, material, uh, material drop, fire accident, and uh, belt damage. Belt sway switch detecting the belt misalignment and preventing the these accidents. The first technical point is the installation. Belt sway switch should be installed so that the, the, this pulley right, right angle to the belt, like this. The second technical advice is about the com, uh, conveyor belt. The damaged belt on the side causing to the damage for the pulley or the shattering uh, of the detection. The side of the conveyor should be uh, treated to be smooth for the belt sway switch. The next one is the misaligned adjusting devices. There are the two types, self-aligned mechanical carrier and motor-operated adjusting carrier. Belt sway causing the material drop. When the belt gets the impact to the conveyor structure or the frame, friction may result in a fire accident and belt damage. Belt sway should be detected and adjusted before this accident. Self-aligned mechanical carrier adjusting the belt misalignment by the weight shift. When the belt misaligned, the center of the gravity shifts the same direction, which rotating the self-aligned mechanical carrier. And then it adjusts the belt misalignment. On the other hand, the motor-operated adjusted carrier has a detector for the both sides to monitoring the misalignment degree. They send the signal of the misaligned degree to the carrier. According to the detector signal, the carrier forcing to the belt to the center position by the motor. It is a more effective, more effective uh, than the self-aligned mechanical carrier. And it can be applied even for the short conveyor, like a 10, 10 meter length. These are the installation position we assume that uh, adjusting carrier are required. The first one is uh, transferring the shoe. The adjusting carrier works for the putting the loading material center of the belt. And next one, the second inclining part and the third one is the tension pulley part. After the these, uh, these position, belt misalignment is more likely to more likely to happen. The last one, fourth position, before the tail pulley, the belt misalignment should be adjusted because the material should drop from the center of the belt for the next conveyor. The next device is, is a belt slip detector. 
speed sensor can detect the belt cut break as well as the belt three. It detects speed down of the conveyor at the accident and minimize the damage of the uh, damage from the accident. There are two types of the belt slip detector. The first one is the magnetic type, we call the speed relay. It does not require the power source because of the magnetic principle. It can be also applied for the over speed detection like a crane and elevator. Another type is proximity switch type. Because of the non-contact switch, the connection installation is not required. Also, spare switch can be shared for the all conveyor because the speed setting, speed setting can be set at the site by customer. Next, it is a blocking shoot detection. I will introduce the three types of the detector. The first one is the shoot switch. It is installed on the side wall of the shoot. When the material is accumulating, they push the detection plate. After releasing the blocking, the detection plate returns to the original portion and the conveyor can restart the again. Because of the simple mechanical function, it can be applied for the variety of application, even for the bigger material size. The second switch is a full detector. When the material level is going up, it tilts the full detector, full detector, which detects the material. Since it is a simple function with a robust uh, structure, it's widely used for the Bulk and, uh, bulk and powder application. The last one is admittance level switch. It monitors the capacitance between the probe and the side wall of the tank. When the material covers the probe, it detects the capacitance change and outputs the detection signal. Admittance level switch, there is no moving part. It can be applied for the, even the very small shoot. The last one is the emergency switch. When the, any accident happens, it is necessary to stop the conveyor immediately. When the, any accident is found, pulling the wire rope and stop the conveyor. Also, it can apply for the interlock during the walk, during the walking around the conveyor. For example, uh, when, when the older idler are exchanged to the new idler, uh, pulling the wire keep you the safety because of the conveyor cannot be uh, start again. This is, the, uh, this is the example of the uh, pull code switch. Okay, I, I introduced the two sections. First one is the countermeasure for the conveyor action. Second one is a safety conveyor uh, device. There are the, our conveyor protection devices. When you have any question or request for the conveyor switches, please feel free to contact us. Okay, thank you for listening my session. After my session, Mr. Maida uh, introduced two unique devices. Okay, I will switch, I will give the switch to the Mr. Maida. Okay, thanks so much for your detailed explanation about those troubles and effective countermeasures. Now, please allow me a few minutes to introduce our two products. And um, one is belt air detector and the other one is the new development conveyor power generator. This is the first one. Uh, the first one is belt air detector. Okay. This is the 
belt tear detector and most most belt rip accident belt tear accident happens at the transferring chute when material transfer uh, uh, transfer to another conveyor at the chute one material gets stuck into the conveyor okay the foreign material stuck into the uh, conveyor then it hits uh, to the impact roller and the impact roller moving away then the long rip accident happens okay so if you have belt tear detector like this material foreign material comes but it hit touch with the uh, belt tear detector sensor then immediately stop the conveyor so uh, such a long rip accident uh, can uh, like uh, prevent it can be prevented okay this is the same one, uh, same system we use the same touch sensor but the shape is for pipe conveyor so there are sometimes uh, pipe conveyor for for transferring the raw material and this uh, pipe conveyor it may cause such rip accident where the conveyor belt comes round so for example some wrong material inside the on the conveyor but the pipe conveyor comes like this then this one hit like this then stuck to the like uh, construction then it causes such uh, table rip accident but this shape of our belt tear detector we can prevent this uh, the serial accidents serious accidents and for this tr general draft conveyor we have this type of uh, like a new construction this one the trough angle is adjustable and this uh, portion can be removed from the pipe it means the installation is very simple and easy okay so this is the uh, new system power generator for belt conveyor monitoring system uh, this is the background the purpose of belt conveyor is to bring the materials semi-finished goods or finished goods to the next process smoothly it is widely used at the material handling process. The accident, such accident or breakdown of conveyor cause huge loss and may affect the company's daily operation. Therefore, the demand for the sensor that monitors the sign of malfunction to occur is growing. As IoT technology are introduced to the industry, supplying the power to those devices is a major issue to face so that's how the belt conveyor generator is developed <clears throat> so this is construction uh, the lava pulley the left side rubber pulley should be touched with the uh, conveyor belt underneath then this roller is rotating and the inside the exterior casing uh, speed gearbox there is something like a, like a road it's similar to rotor we call generator then it is uh, converted to the output voltage so this is the principle as the belt conveyor operates the rubber pulley installed benefit it rotates together the energy from pulley rotation is conveyed to the generator through the internal shaft and speed increaser gear box to be converted to the electric power so this is one of the example uh, this is a sort of conveyor diagnosis system so head pulley or and tail pulley of each conveyor has some sensors as self diagnosis system and generally we have to place the long wiring from the electric room or something but this power generator provides the necessary power to those sensors on head pulley tail pulley or another conveyor saying so finally it uh, you can reduce the huge such wiring cost 
Uh, next, some uh, example of, of application is similar, but the system is belt misalignment detection system. And the benefit is same. You can save the wiring cost. Generally, the electric room and the site is far away, far from uh, its long distance. But when you, where you use this power generator, uh, you can provide the like uh, electric power without the uh, wiring cable, and it connects to the wire, uh, wireless transmitter devices to send the signal to the electric room. Uh, this is the actual test result of power generator. It has maximum 66 watt output and enough for those field sensors. Okay, uh, thank you so much for listening, uh, sharing your time with the session of Omura-san and my short uh, introduction of our latest product. So now we can move to the uh, Q&A sessions. Just a moment. Okay, uh, so let us go through the questions. Thank you so much for those questions. The first one is... Thank you very much. Thank you. So first question is, please advise us about the maintenance for belt tear detector. Maintenance? Okay, maintenance for the belt tear detector. Okay, some of the material on the conveyor is very dusty, and uh, mostly the, these dusty uh, applications is easy to build up on the detector. So sometimes the checking and uh, please clean up uh, if the material is built up on the uh, detector. And also the below the uh, transferring chute is a very uh, a lot of the vibration. So I want I want to request the customer to check in the porting, mm -hmm. porting the fix it the family. I see. Yes. Okay. So next question is. Uh, this is about belt sway switch. The touch pulley for belt sway switch is SS400 material. Is it any problem with uh, corrosiveness? Corrosiveness. Um, this uh, belt sway switch, this part is mostly changed to the new new one. Is um, mostly five or six years, several years in one time. Because most customer is has a wheel, the belt is swaying. This one, this part is a, has a wheel because of the friction. But maybe the, this customer is caring about crossing. Uh, we we have a special uh, model for the the other uh, material for the this touch roller. For example, the uh, stainless. So please uh, inform us the application. According to the application, we can discuss for the proper material. Mm -hmm. I see. Okay, so next question is again for the detector. Please advise us the point to note for the installation of the detector installation. Ah, so, mean important point. Important Third point, product. yes. Important point for installation for the very to tear detector. Mm. Oh. Belt tear detector is uh, underneath the uh, uh, transferring chute. Underneath the transferring chute is the impact roller. So our detector is exactly the same portion of the impact roller. But uh, the point is uh, how much distance from the belt and detector. Because of the too much cross and some com uh, conveyor material is falling and this impact is uh, this uh, belt is a uh, uh, like uh, shaking this impact to the detector. So we normally recommend the 30 mm from the belt to detector, 30 mm. But sometimes the rock, uh, bigger material is the impact too strong and conveyor is shaking like much more uh, wider. So we, at this case, we are uh, adjusted much more wider. So we recommend it to the adjusting to the this uh, conveyor belt and the detector dimension to according to your application. Okay. 
next question is also better detector. Please advise us the uh, power source, power source for better detector. Power source for the better detector is nine, 90 through that uh, two point, uh, uh, 245 voltage. Okay. Uh, okay, next question is, please inform us the necessary maintenance for Oh, conveyor power generator. Maintenance for conveyor power generator. Uh, basically, the greasing supply is not required. It's the same like our speed relay. Uh, when the material is a, it's the same like when the material is built up of the driving pulley or driving part. I want you to check the uh, sometimes and uh, clean up the driving part because the driving part is the material is accumulating. Uh, it's affecting to the performance. Okay, I see. So next question is, can we have this presentation? Mm -hmm. uh, okay, of course. Okay. So after this, finishing this webinar, uh, we will send one email to you with the link for the questionnaire. It's very simple questionnaire. So uh, please answer to the, this questionnaire. Then we, uh, after we confirm your like uh, answer for the questionnaire, then we will send you the old presentation by, by return email, maybe next Monday or uh, Tuesday at the latest. Yeah. So next question is, good evening. Uh-huh. <laughs> Good evening. <laughs> Maybe some some area in the evening. Here in Japan is three o'clock, so good afternoon or good evening for you. Uh how long can be the cold switch? How long can be the cold switch? Cold switch is maybe pull cold switch. I believe. Yes. Uh for our standard model of the pull cold switch is a one uh pull cold switch and one side is a 25 meter and the other side is a 25 meter so standard type is a mostly covered 50 meter totally okay so next question do you provide backup support and any warranties uh -huh. okay uh, our original uh, matsushima product is a two years warranty from uh, our shipment Okay. Okay. And pro pro maybe this backup support means probably asking technical support or something. So, yeah. of course, the most of those like a uh, conveyor switch is very simple, and uh, our manual covers uh, necessary information. But if you need more detail or uh, some question not described on the manual, then you can contact us. Of course, we can do some uh, web meeting or also providing training for maintenance or something is available as well, according to the request. Okay, so next question is operating, operating temperature for the sensors. For the uh, uh, what about the Belt tear detector, maybe. Okay, belt tear detector. Yeah. In the belt tear detector is a for the detector is up to fifty degree. Fifty degree. Okay. What about the pull code switch? Pull code belt switch. switch. Belt code. It's almost the same, maybe. Same. Uh, sixty. Sixty. Almost okay. same. Sixty degree. Okay. So next question. Please, can we have access to the learn, hmm? learning slides? Uh, maybe presentation material? Maybe, maybe. Oh. So again, uh, please, please answer to the questionnaire uh, on the link we send to you probably in one hour hmm. or 30 minutes maybe. Then you can get this. Uh, on next Monday or Tuesday. Okay, so next. Are you working in optic fiber sensing technology for 
。ああ、ベアリングモニタリング。ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ。Unfortunately, we do not have the sensor, but the,、uh, I think this one needs the, like a sensor for checking the、uh, like damage of wearing on the tail pulley and head pulley. So, actually,、uh, we don't have this sensor in our product ranges, but、uh, on the presentation, we, we、uh, explain about the System with our power generator system. So, so that you can save the wiring cost or something.、Mm. Anyway, I'm going, you, you can get this presentation later. So you can check.、Uh, I think your next question is I, oh no, no, this one is answered.、Uh, thank you. I'm Watching from Chile, thank you so thank much. You long, long. <laughs> okay, thank you.、Uh, do you provide uh, uh, this one? We already answered.、Mm. Ah, yes, okay, great. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. That, much. You're welcome anytime. Can we have this? Okay. Okay, so I believe we have gone through all questions. Yes. Okay, so again, thank you so much for sharing your time with us today. Thank you very much. Again, we will send、uh, one email、uh, having the link for the questionnaire.、Uh, please answer to the questionnaire. It takes about only a few minutes. Then we will send return by email the、uh, detailed presentation about this. And if you have any question, Or、uh, requirement or anything unclear, please feel free to contact us. Contact us. Okay, thank you so much for your time.、Uh, we are looking forward to see you again in the next webinar. Thank you very thank much. Thank you. Bye bye. Thank you.